Did I splurge? Yes. What is up you guys? It's Kyolo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post productivity, organization, and lifestyle videos. I got a lot of stuff for you. This is gonna be a five part series where I am organizing my whole apartment and I'm so excited. I'll probably have more to do, just like the little cabinets here and there, but Overall, I grouped them into five little episodes for you. This is my first series and I'm so excited. We're organizing my little laundry area under my bathroom sink. I've already done a part one to under my bathroom sink, but this apartment we have two, so I'm doing James' side. We're doing under my kitchen sink. Again, I've already done that, but since we moved, we have a little bit more stuff and I just wanted to make it cuter. Some of my kitchen drawers, the pantry, and the fridge. And I'm so excited. Today, we're starting off with organizing my fridge and my pantry. This is gonna be like a two-part one episode series because I'm sharing some of the containers for both of them. I just wanna knock them out all at once. So if I'm wearing the same, same outfit, don't come for me. But let's get started. My biggest tip for organizing, plan it out. Organize how you're going to organize before you organize what you're going to organize. I literally drew out all my cabinets, my fridge, my pantry. That's my phone, sorry. So that I know what I'm doing, I know the dimensions. There's only one thing that I did measure and I'm, I'm a little worried that it may be too big. I don't know, we'll just have to deal with that when we get there. Literally just look at the front of my apartment, like it's insane. Did I splurge? Yes. Regrets? But I'm happy. I think this is not a lot of stuff. I'm also utilizing everything I had in my old apartment. So the first thing we have, this is the thing that I'm a little worried it's not going to fit. It's an expandable shelf. Did I think it was going to be this big? Absolutely not. Did I even bother looking at the dimensions? Absolutely not. Maybe I'll use half of it to organize like under the sink. And then we have little berry bins. They're just so cute. Of course they're the home edit. I had to. Next, I bought three produce bins. And next, I really want to use these just for juice and milk. I had to, I had to. I know, I know I didn't organize my pantry and I got like two giant sets, but I just, I had to. I got two 4.2 liter containers. These are the good grip kind. Yes, I do give them the best review. I love them. I haven't had any stale food. I feel like anyone who has ever had any issues probably got the soft grips. So I would go with good grips. Just my opinion. Everything that I got will be linked down below. These last two things I got from Amazon. Everything else was the container store, except for the tiered shelf that I got off Target. This one, I wanted to save a little money. I got, I believe it's six of these. They're much shorter than the I designed one, but that's okay, it'll do. Realistically, I don't buy the same things all the time, so it's hard for me to determine how big of containers or whatever I need to get because I, you know, I wish I could be like that and say like, this, you know, this is dedicated for whatever. And that's kind of my issue when it comes to labels because I don't get the same thing every time. So then I would have to just switch out labels 50 million times. I think it's like a pack of six for like 20, $25. So it's really not bad because if you go to the container store, like one is like $25. I also, yes, these are the same. If you end up getting them, they're the same in length. At least those will match. These were like six for 20, 25 dollars. But that is all I got. As if that wasn't like a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these and then let's get started. Literally nothing about this is organized. So we're gonna fix that. It goes so far back. Here is the plan that I made. I basically just drew all the cabinets and I wanna put paper towels water bottles in this shelf, the canned goods at the top since we don't really have too many canned goods. Then right here, just different food and snacks. Down here, keep it the same as it was, having the like healthier drinks, unhealthy snacks. I 
Okay, so the next drawer I'm a little worried about because it's the one that I did not measure for. Um, so I don't think this is gonna fit. So I may have to just cut it off or just shove it in there and punch it. I don't know. <laughs> ah! Okay, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is my drink shelf. I think that'll be the next easiest thing. Not as satisfying, but I need to get more anyways, so. So I save the two last shelves that I feel are the most difficult. So I think I'm going to organize everything from like snacks and breakfast and like dinner slash just like miscellaneous cooking things and go from there. And I think that's how I'm going to divide just everything else on those last two shelves. And then I'll figure out all the container stuff. Right here I have paper towels so that they're easily accessible and then water bottles they look so nice right here I have canned foods but I also obviously have broth and breadcrumbs back there just so that they're out of the way 
right here there's rice noodles flour no oil and like the little packets of food here and then down here is our breakfast and snacks cereal rolled oats popcorn in the back the top shelf has my rice cakes and my honey and my peanut butter so that it's all just in one little square. The next one I have like popcorn, crackers, cookies, just miscellaneous things. And at the bottom is breakfast things like granola, pancake mix, and oatmeal. And then down here is my drinks. So I have like the Mio, the PB Fit, chia seeds, collagen, protein powder, BCAAs. And then down here is just my like unhealthy food. Or I guess treat yourself food. So like the baking stuff. Stuff, popcorn marshmallows just all that good stuff and it just looks so good and I'm so happy with how everything turned out back there is just like back stock stuff thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video bye